What's going on, YouTube Universe? It's your boys in the wind here to jump along here with a TXR reaction video. I know we're literally a day away from Ghostbusters 2016 being released worldwide. I do plan on going to go see it on Saturday, so definitely look for a review on that movie. In the meantime, Screen Junkie, Screen Junkies has hit us with another honest trailer. This time we got Ghostbusters 2. I know a lot of people have their reservations about Ghostbusters 2. No is not as good as the first one, but I think it's very, very close. Um, I recently watched it like a few weeks ago and yeah, it kind of falls a couple of the same beats, but at the same time, it's, I, I, I still enjoy it. I still enjoy Ghostbusters 2 a great deal. So in any case, let's see what Screen Junkies has to say about Ghostbusters 2 with their honest trailer. Before you see the reaper, that the internet thinks will be an unfunny attempt to cash in on your nostalgia for the original Ghostbusters. Revisit the unfunny attempt at a sequel that kinda already took care of that. Ghostbusters 2. It's been five years since the Ghostbusters saved New York from a ghost apocalypse. Now everyone thinks they're frauds for some reason. My dad says you guys are full of crap. Did your dad not even live in New York five years ago? Two big frauds and publicity hounds like you and your friends. Seriously. Did everybody just forget that the city was invaded by actual ghosts? Yeah. We're a lot of malarkey, but Goblin is a spook, some demon. Malarkey? What about the 100 foot tall marshmallow man that destroyed part of the city? Remember? <laughs> Gozer? Zool? Huge earthquakes that swallowed a city block? Dogs and cats living together? Queen of the That tripped me out when I first saw that. Email? You know what? Fine. I hope he man likes ectoplasm and terror dogs. Ungrateful little yuppie larva. If you loved the first Ghostbusters movie, then you should definitely go watch that one instead. But if you insist on seeing part two, prepare for the exact same plot with tiny cosmetic changes. As the Ghostbusters start out as washed up scientists who no one believes. They think you're a fraud. I am a fraud. Get <laughs> successful after busting ghosts for a huge jerk, then have a Ghostbusting montage. While Venkman romances their client Dana who's being terrorized by a household appliance yeah. as the team is harassed by a snobby government official who gets them arrested until they're unarrested by the mayor after a ghost hole opens in the sky. Get me the ghost bus. Okay. Resulting in a third act finale where a huge mascot stomps through New York, prompting the busters to shoot their guns into a portal thingy and save the day while all of New York celebrates. It's exactly the same as the first movie, but bad. Catch up with all your favorite characters who haven't changed at all, like Egon, who's still a nerd. We had part of a slinky, but I straightened it. Venkman, who's still a creep. <laughs> Ray, who still spouts out nonsense. The psychomagnetic slime flow of immense proportions is building up beneath the sea. Winston, who's still there sometimes. Dana, who's still Sigourney Weaver, but this time more naked. Janine, who's a horny cartoon character now. And yeah. introducing Vega the Carpathian, an evil painting who really should have stuck to writing metal lyrics. On a mountain of skulls in the castle of pain, I sat on a throne of love. Hell yeah, that painting is awesome, right? Uh, this movie really sucks. You know what? It doesn't. I see these guys on screen together. I mean, every generation has its hangover too. So before you go and see the movie that people have decided will ruin the franchise before they've even seen it, revisit the movie mm. that already ruined the franchise no, by throwing out the fun grown-up comedy and doubling down on lame kid stuff. Unless you think the franchise was already ruined by that terrible video game, or that other terrible video game, or Extreme Ghostbusters, or this embarrassing cat hey. movie. Who are you going to call? Or the fact that Bill Murray never wants to do another Ghostbusters. Or that Rick Moranis gave up acting. Or that Harold Ramis passed away. Or Dan Aykroyd losing his mind. I don't think we will ever have a formal relationship, a formal contact with any alien species out there, especially after 9-11. But hey, Ernie Hudson's available for whatever you got. Sequels, reboots, children's birthday parties, Ghostbusters 3. Ernie's gotta eat. Starring <laughs> Elwood uh Booz, Harold Ramis, Ringo. A very Murray sequel. Ripley and Newt. Honey, I busted the ghost. 
the only guy having fun in this movie. Yeah. The photo booth pin filter, Claudio Miranda, the stuff they make Chicken McNuggets out of, and the comment section of the new Ghostbusters trailer. You want to let me get out of this fucking club? You follow a Nazi man! This is what you do with your spare time. Ghostbusters 2, the secret of the ooze. You know, the original Ghostbusters movie probably ruined something, too. The original, original Ghostbusters. We're Ghostbusters. We're clever, courageous, and strong. Yep, that was the thing. The Ghostbusters do it again. Be sure to subscribe <laughs> for more honest trailers. <laughs> hey, Screen Junkies, are you as obsessed with Mr. Robot as we are? I'm going to get into Christian Slavers on the subway. It then keeps, check out our new video and analysis about how show, awesome the buggy Mr. Really Robot, I gotta available get into it. now on ScreenJunkies.com. Click the box to watch a full recap of Season 1 right now. And tune in every Thursday at 1 p.m. Pacific as we break down each episode of Season 2 on Screen Junkies Plus. Go ahead, click it. Evil Corp is watching. Hmm. I am the terror that flaps in the yeah. night. I am the batteries that are not included. I... That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Puggle Puffy Pug Fluff is mayonnaise an instrument. Not people, Morty. Mortys. I have done nothing but teleport bread for three days. When we see the undertow, we say heck no. <laughs> Alright, so here's the thing. Okay. For, for what is worth, Ghostbusters 2 did follow practically the same formula for the first movie. But at the time, a lot of movies did that. Um, I'm trying to think of them. I'm trying to think of one right now. Um, you know, but. Th th things things happen when you have something that is so successful that they want to plaster it all over the place. I mean, I don't remember exactly how long it took for the actual real Ghostbusters animated series to come on TV after the first movie came out. I think it might have been a few years before it actually premiered. And by that time, the target was kids. So it's no, it's, it's it's no different almost from, yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: The Secret of the Use. They went from the first movie, which was dark and gritty and more closer to the comic book, than a sequel that was more geared towards the animated series, which in hindsight was geared more to the kids. Um, there's a lot of things that were guilty of doing that back in the eighties and early nineties. It is um. It, it was the formula then. It, it just was. Um, if you want to... What am I trying to say? If you, if you just really sit and think about it, you know... They, they, yeah, yeah, granted they did a little bit less. Vigo wasn't as big of a villain as Gozer was. That just goes without saying. I think he could have been, but he just wasn't. Um... I mean, look at the Ghostbusters video game that came out in 2008. You know, that was, um, I mean, in, in my opinion, that's Ghostbusters 3. And I know at one point, even Dan Aykroyd had said that the Ghostbusters video game was literally Ghostbusters 3. And that was the second sequel. So, to me, that's the third movie, as far as it stands. Um, I, I, in fact, I know there's an article going around that someone had even cut up the cutscenes... The um, you know, yeah, the cutscenes from the video game and basically turned it into the third movie. A lot of people do that though. They've done it with Mortal Kombat when it first came out. They did it with um Injustice. They did it with they did it with a lot of video games that have a lot of cutscenes in them. The story mode. So, but I still I still enjoy Ghostbusters too. I still enjoy it. Will I watch that more than I'll watch Ghostbusters one? Probably not. Ghostbusters one is a classic from the beginning to end. It really is. Um, but, you know, I will not, I won't sit here and say that a lot of things that were said in this, on the trailer, wasn't true because it was. 
there were a lot of things that were definitely true about this stuff. Um, I've seen a couple of reviews for the Ghostbusters 2016 movie. Again, I'll be giving mine once I go see it, and you guys will be seeing seeing my review on it also. Again, it'll be a spoilerish review. You know, I am. Um, There's, there's only, there, there, you know, there's only a few times where something comes out and just captures the imagination like wildfire. Ghostbusters was one of them. Now, granted, it didn't, it, granted, it only took the animated series to really capture the kid market. You know, like I, like I said in videos before about Ghostbusters, you know, from my older brother to me to my younger brother. We were all Ghostbuster decked out. My brother had all the action figures. He had the firehouse. He had the Ecto-1. He had a lot of the ghosts. Me, I had a lot of the big stuff. I had the Proton Pack. I had the PKE meter. I had the Ghost Trap. I had the Ecto-1A. Then my younger brother, he had the he had the um, Extreme Ghostbusters Ghost Pack, um, Ghost Trap. I got him the Extreme Ghostbusters Ecto-1 from, from, for, for Christmas one year, you know, and between the three of us, we probably own like helicopters of Ghostbusters 1 and 2. I own the Blu-ray, of course, because that's the kind of person I am, but, you know, there's only certain things that come out like that. Anything with dealing with this type of thing is definitely guaranteed to do a killing in merchandising, so, but... Either way, this was still funny. I'll probably watch this on this trailer again just so I can catch up a lot of things because it, it was, I, th I thought it was very hilarious. But in any case, post your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought about this honest trailer. If you enjoyed my reaction, hit the like button. If you didn't enjoy my reaction, hit the dislike button. Share this video with all your friends and of course, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see. Jet Lightner out. Peace.